water purification project by Gammatha. Gammatha for the people by the people. News first, news line with Faraz Shaukutali. And a very good evening to you and a warm welcome to Newsline Live. My guest this evening needs really no introduction. He is a member of parliament representing the SJB from the Kalutra district and he is of course the former cabinet minister and a politician of some repute. He is of course none other than Dr. Rajita Senaratna. Hello and uh, welcome Dr. Rajita. Okay, thank you. Now then, Dr. Rajita Senaratna, um, all sorts of stories today but the medical fraternity are up in arms. They're saying that how can they turn up to work if they don't have fuel allocated to them? Yeah. There was a protest outside the uh, Lady Ridgeway Hospital today and uh, they are really complaining. Uh, have the government forgotten about these medical yeah. people? Actually, health is, a, is, is an essential service. Mm. So uh, that has been made uh, essential uh, because, uh, you know, the, the people's lives are in the hands of those, uh, especially with the doctors and other health workers. So if it is an essential service, how come the doctors are not being given a priority? This is the thing. Uh, this, this government has um, they are so disorganized and the government has no program how to uh, manage the hospitals mm. with the patients. So therefore, actually, when you don't provide uh, the necessary um, uh, fuel and other uh, facilities to the doctors and the other health workers, mm. the uh, system collapse. So that system collapse means that the peop people's lives are at stake. So there is a real risk that yeah. will impact on the people's lives. Correct. Uh, Very so th serious that situation. shows uh, that if they cannot handle the fish, uh, the fuel problem with the at least for the health services, how can they ca handle the entire country, right? So the the country as actually today uh, uh, is actually like a sinking ship, mm. uh, without any direction. So the the uh, because of one man, one man, the entire country is suffering. So the rats must now jump off the ship quickly ship. Uh, quickly right now then another uh, another question um about medical but this is about medical students and in the whole you, you know do we agree that this is there is a dollar crisis in our country and and therefore in that whole context you know that we spend about 2.1 billion us dollars with a b 2100 million dollars every year on uh, foreign, uh, you know, on foreign education, overseas education for yeah. our people, yeah. for our students, uh, uh, Doctor Rajita, why can't the medical students do half in Sri Lanka and half outside? That way, we might save fifty percent of the cost for medical students. No, now, now there was a very uh, uh, good, actually, uh, high standard medical faculty in the in the country. Right, that was the site. Right. Uh, set up by a uh, um, uh, leading doctor, yeah. uh, Dr. Neville Fernando. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so with the agitations and everything that was closed down during my time, mm. during our, our uh, regime, actually... Uh, was that a mistake? Complete mistake. Complete mistake. If there were certain actually... Um, uh, um, uh, actually, issues uh, issues and problems in the medical education, we could have sorted out mm. rather than closing down. Every time a medical faculty is uh, to open, then there will be agitation saying that medic, uh, you cannot make medical education private. All other higher education institutes are there private, mm. but not medical. So why? So every time they agitate, they close down the hospital. So during my time, actually, there were very reputed universities came to the country. Mm. And they discussed with me, even uh, um, Monash University from one of the, um, uh, the mm. very reputed uh, university in the world. Mm. Monash University also wanted to set up a medical faculty here. But I, I didn't actually uh, support the idea because with this agitation, you cannot allow them to come then they are, if there were allegations and closed down no other in investor will come to this country. So you didn't push the boat out? I, I didn't want to take the risk. So otherwise if we to take this decision 
we can stop actually uh, the our dollars are going to other countries yeah. actually we are spending for medical education abroad the same we are from that amount we can run a medical faculty in, uh, by sure. the state in uh, sri lanka well, well, why the state because the state doesn't really have money what about the private sector even the private sector mm -hmm. the private sector is ready to invest even the foreign uh, universities are ready to come here those days actually but uh, because of this uh, agitation uh, actually so we who are these agitators here. Especially the actually uh, the the all the, uh, the the doctors union at that time Padenia people mm. like Padenia, and also the university students, right? Because we said uh, the if the problem is about the standards, we can correct it. Mm. But they were finally they were happy by close closing down the. Medical faculty. And then, uh, so basically, political considerations has placed us in this awkward position. Today. Yeah, complete. Because this is the only country where there is no private medical education. Absolutely, that's going to be one of my other in, questions. Even in India, even we, our people go to Nepal, our people go to Bangladesh for higher studies. But they always, their parents, the students, they all like to stay with their parents and their kids. It's also cheaper. And, yeah. And also cheaper for them to spend uh, some money here and mm. have the medical education. And we need more and more doctors also. But we are not ready to have a medical faculty. If the government can't cater to the uh, demand, yeah. so you must allow the private sector to come in mm. or the foreign investor to come in. Right? Then you have to uh, put the standard. Now, you see even certain uh, universities, they come are the world standard universities. But they don't allow th them to come and set up a medical faculty. So what ha happens is thousands and thousands of uh, students are leaving the country for medical education. And uh, now then, uh, uh, let me come to this other question as well. Now, obviously, this is a dollar crisis. Now, uh, Dr. Rajat Senratna, being a sort of a leading member of the SJB, what is the SJB's immediate solution, the action plan, to bring dollars in and to save the outflow of the First thing dollars? is to actually the Gotabe Rajapaksa must go. But what's until that there is, dollars? Until there is a Rajapaksa, no country in the world is ready to help us. Why is that? That is because they don't believe Rajapaksas can uh, uh, people who have ruined the country. Not only that, they have, uh, you know, they have uh, harassed the people. Their human um, uh, rights record is uh, very bad. Mm. So they don't believe Rajapaksas as democratic leaders. Mm. So th now we have removed the two Rajapaksas. This third Rajapaksa must go. Mm. Then only the Europe and other countries, the developed countries, will uh, um, uh, will will support us because the next government should be a all-party government. Which, uh, uh, which is ready to practice good governance. What about the young Rajapaksa? What about Nama Rajapaksa? What do you think should happen to him? I don't think pe uh, the, uh, the internationally any Rajapaksa is recognized. No Rajapaksa is recognized. Now those days, now the main problem in the country is the fuel crisis. Yeah. Now those days, there yeah. were the m many an occasion, uh, actually the Middle East countries, yeah. they supported us during Mrs. Bandarnaika's time, yes. uh, during <coughs> President Premadasa's time. Yeah. They gave the oil for reasonable price uh, or the uh, reasonable terms, yeah. like uh, uh, giving grace periods to pay them. Yeah. But here, they even don't supply a drop of oil to these people with uh, on concessional basis. Kanchana Vijay Sekra was uh, in uh, Doha recently. What can they do? And they announced that they are going to meet the Emir, hmm. but they have gone and met a deputy minister. They won't get anything, any support from Qatar. And again, now, when why I, is when that? I why? went with the then President uh, Maitri Pala Sirisena, yeah. we, we went and met the uh, President, uh, the, the Qatar Emir. Mm. And Qatar Emi actually uh, gave a uh, grand lunch to our delegation at that time. And that is how they you, treat. And did they, did they give us oil? Pardon? Did they give us oil? Yeah, there was no problem about oil or anything about during our, our government mm. until 2019, until we handed over the <coughs> government to these people. Mm. There were no problems in the country. The people were 
having a better prices than the new, uh, uh, 2014 rajapaksa's government mm. we, uh, the prices were either less or the same especially the fuel fuel prices came down the gas prices came down yeah. right kerosene prices came down so with all that only that the people were said that there should be a country now the country is finished but don't you agree uh, dr sen ratna that for as long as we can remember Sri Lanka's uh, consumers uh, have always had a subsidized rate of uh, petrol. No, that's a, that's a different matter. Mm. Even with the subsi subsidized uh, price, actually there was no issue, no. And with all the subsidized prices also, we had a foreign reserves of seven dollar uh, seven point two billion. Yeah. Right now, without subsidized prices, they don't have a single dollar as uh, reserves. This is the whole problem, no. And uh, uh, does the SJB? W what is your action plan for, for our the action dollar plan? Prices? Is to first thing is to remove Gota Bay Rajapaksa mm. and set up an all-party government, mm. and then actually we need to inject five actually dollar five billion mm. to the economy. Yeah. If you if from you where from so we, that there are there are ways to uh, provide the uh, dollar five billion, mm. right? There were uh, people who came during my time also who offered all this time were for a very reasonable uh, interest rate. Mm. Those days it was uh, zero percent, but recently we had discussions with those uh, the same institutions, uh, so they were ready to even to uh, to make it uh, less than one percent interest. So oh and, really that, yeah, that, yeah. even though That's how a gentleman politics, and this man. So many people are dying and suffering in this country, and without a without a shame, that he is still uh, sticking to this post, and he is now living in a bunker, in the, at the uh, uh, presidential house. I was going to ask you. A that. And he is everybody is going to him, and he is showing his face every night through your TVs to show that he is live, right? <laughs> Actually speaking, he 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 is a prisoner there. Uh, what a note, shame! I mean, to a country. What a shame indeed uh, for a president who can't even get to his own office, yeah. uh, being held back uh, by what we call the Aragalea. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about the Aragalea when we come back after this short break. We'll take a peek at this evening's uh, prime time news, the headlines, and see you on the other side. <laughs> News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. Double homicide in Moratua. <laughs> Indian fishermen encroach into Sri Lankan waters. <laughs> no petrol shipment until July 22nd. Tokens for those in queues. Fuel being sold according to special lists. Protests against the government. Credit line requested from Qatar. News first, news line with Faraz Shaukutali. And welcome back to Newsline Live. I'm in conversation with Dr. Rajit Senaratna. Now, Dr. Rajit Senaratna, what about the Aragale? Uh, it seems to be petering out now. Is that no, true? No, you can't say because the Aragale is everywhere in the country. Hmm. Until there is hunger and other problems to the people, the Aragale will continue. Hmm. Right? You cannot crush the Aragale when there is, you know, when the, it's the people's struggle. It mm. has become the people's struggle. So what uh, what is at uh, golf face is just the symbol of it, mm -hmm. right? So it it will never uh, fade away because they will be now they are going to stay the second stage of the Aragalea. Yeah, yeah. And today uh, they they and we actually the all parties in the opposition mm. uh, in the parliament all uh, uh, the leaders and they we met together mm -hmm. and discussed. How we can, uh, where can we uh, work together, mm -hmm. right? And what actions can be taken 
uh, united and uh, how to face this uh, how to organize the second stage of the struggle but in the meantime do you have a action plan i'm going back to the same question yeah we are we are we are going uh, we are having to, that is uh, to uh, get dollars Dollars, 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 dollars is the, after we get the government we will definitely get the get down uh, get uh, the dollars the necessary but no none of these foreign entities have said that openly yes can you not get them to say it we can we can assure the people that we will uh, settle this problem at least in about a month or two in the meantime the people must do what so to give us power but in two months the people are going to have to starve so at least two months one month or two months mm. uh, we will settle the problem now here even in one year you uh, there is no uh, solution to these people now then uh, you are from the and they are, they are selling one by one the government uh, enterprises now they sold the electricity now they are going to sell uh, to the adanis of uh, india now they are planning to uh, sell uh, the entire our petroleum resources our refinery everything to the ioc so one by day by day they are selling and they are collecting commissions that's all that's all yeah now then uh, you know you you're representing the uh, kalutri district yeah. uh, and uh, kalutri district is full of small holders in in the tea industry now this is particularly worrying because obviously uh, there is no uh, diesel or petrol and therefore how do these small holders how do they after they collect the leaves how do they get it to the factory even even then the factory also even, doesn't have a diesel to no, do the drying to, process yeah not only collecting and transporting the uh, tea even the tea industry is in a hell of a problem i think tea industry is affected about 20 30% by because mm. there is no fertilizer mm. for the this one there is no um, uh, in, um, uh, the other insecticides and other things mm. right because of that the plantation is uh, completely affected in our areas so uh, even the w what is left actually when they pluck the tea leaves they have no way to transport because there is no fuel mm. then the tea leaves uh, the actually the will be <coughs> destroyed yes so the uh, then even from the factories to colombo also they cannot transport that is one problem in the countryside of the kalutara district in the other areas in the um, um, actually the uh, the the in the country no sea belt oh yeah actually the they are uh, the, this is uh, our main industry is the fisheries right right so we have the berwal leading harbor then panadura there is a harbor with all that but no fuel for the uh, actual trawlers and to the boats so there is that is also affected completely so th this is a big uh, big problem big problem so you know uh, there was a report in the papers i think yesterday or today 15 point something percent of a retraction in uh, the tea industry uh, that's 15 percent of th about 300 million kilos makes it about 45 million kilos that's a lot of money yes because that is one, that is the leading actually one of the leading uh, agro exports mm. in the country tea is the leading and you know now usually our country uh, we were earning about 10 over 10 billion uh, before the covid mm. during the covid with all that uh, uh, epidemic we, we uh, that was increased to 15 billion dollars now also with the exports the exports were about uh, over 1 billion every one month mm. so even if that is affected that is the dollar earners right that is and the uh, that and the other one is the foreign um, uh, employment remittances do you think that anybody in the slpp or in vietnam or wherever have a brave enough or have the means to tell the president up front and open look boss it's your fault you wanted you and your pardoniers and whoever else it was yeah. it misadvised you ill advised you under advised you and today this problem is faced because of you okay. the best thing you can do the the least Uh, of the gentleman the things you can do is to resign and go yeah. home the do entire country is there? entire country's main demand is go to go home go to get out now they say 
right? The entire country is unique on that matter. Mm. And also the Vietmaga, the one who started Vietmaga, yeah. is uh, actually uh, Nalaka Godeheva. Mm. Even Nalaka Godeheva now openly says that he is the main problem yeah. for the country. This uh, uh, the the president is the main curse to the people of this country. So he must leave. So is that, uh, do you think Dr. Godeheva is saying that because he wants a position at the SJB? Because you know they if nobody. No, they, they, they have they have not. Um, uh, Nalaka has not decided what is few politically uh, uh, what is po uh, future plans. Mm. Whether they they to form a uh, new party or to uh, join one of the opposition parties. Mm -hmm. Not a decide. But anyway, he has become a leading anti-Gotabaya uh, uh, politician. Uh, okay, but you know... He's the one who created uh, Gotabaya, one of the main key figures in creating the Gotabaya. But what of the man uh, whom the public believed and who probably loved a Mahindra Rajapaksa. Surely it is Mahindra Rajapaksa yeah. who. It is who because of Mahindra Rajapaksa only Gotabe won. Yes. But Gotabe, uh, when the entire country was asking mainly Gota to go home, Rajapaksas to go home, he removed Rajapaksas and he is now trying to uh, hang on to powers uh, shamelessly. But uh, most of the people seem to think, or they did think until about three or four months ago, that the Rajapaksas were always united as a family and that they all acted as one. Is there now a clear break in that? No, it's the same thing today also. All Rajapaksas are together. Mm. So they have actually, actually, they have sacrificed all others. The president has sacrificed all other Rajapaksas for, the, for his benefit. Is that, that's as simple as that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so and I think all the Rajapaksas were agreeable at that time because to at least to keep one Rajapaksa in power. Now, what about uh, if you were, if your party was to come into power, would you all consider initiating legal action against the errant uh, members of the Rajapaksa family? Would you, for example, make sure that Basil is here and doesn't, isn't sent out and so on? What will you all do? We will definitely have to take that decision because that is what the people want. Actually, that is what people wanted in 2015. Not yes, so. but you all yeah. didn't do it. We did our best, but the two leaders, Maitripala and uh, Ranil, who sabotaged it, hmm. right? Actually, it was started by Ranil. Then even Maitripala got scared and he also told the same line. So basically, what you're saying is spineless people shouldn't come into politics. No, never. Never. Uh, uh, actually, today also you have a spineless uh, leader. Mm. If he has a spine, he would have left the uh, post. Uh, he would have had the courage to live uh, for the sake of the people. He, because he has no courage, he has no spine. Even uh, uh, in the future, we must need actually the uh, courageous leader to, to the country to face this uh, crisis. Do you think you might ever become president in this country? No, today we have our leader. Hmm. It is Sajid Premadasa, hmm. right? How long more before you, he becomes the president? Very what's soon. Your, what's very, your, soon your, very soon. How, how how short is very soon? In weeks' time. In a few weeks yes. or in one week? Yeah, not one week. Okay. In few weeks. Few weeks. Yeah. So under this sleeve here, look yeah. under this sleeve, <laughs> you've got. What have you got there under the sleeve? Can you tell me? <laughs> what is it you, a se you must have a secret. What's the secret? You've gone there under you your wait, sleeve. It's a people's power. That's the secret. Because there is hunger, no, no tyrant can't, can, right, crush the uh, power with hunger. So he will have to go very soon. The people will rise against this tyranny. And uh, and then the problems will be eased. Yes, but you know the it people. It will be better day by day. The people somehow were led to believe that once the prime minister, you know, once Minder went home, and uh, he's all alone, by the way, in, in his home. Um, but the people thought that we actually, the, when when he went that way, with the petrol stations will miraculously have petrol. It didn't happen. The queues have got longer. Yeah. 
So what's the real solution? No, they have no solution. They have no solution at all. Even for another months and months to go, it will be the same. Right? It will be the same. So, so basically, this, what this what man is ruining the entire country, the economy, everything he is ruining. So basically, Dr. Rajasthan, what you're saying is that the international community have joined hands yeah. with the opposition parties in Sri Lanka and your your party, the SJB, to make sure to put on turn on the pressure long more and more and more yeah. until Gotha goes home. Actually, the international community is waiting until we get together. Actually, the our main our party and the other opposition parties, along with the JVP and even the frontline party. The what will you all give the international community? So the we, we must gave them show that the we all are together and, and joint action against uh, uh, the Gotabe and the Rajapaksa. So, but you know the international community, they will want a pound of flesh. What are you going to give them this time? No, mostly even last time when there was the cup, uh, the people were rising against this uh, Rajapaksa, the entire uh, international community backed the Sri Lanka, uh, Sri Lankan people. So in the meantime, the, the people are suffering while whilst you all play this political battle. So that's why actually even today we had discussions because it's a duty of our, uh, the politician to bring all the uh, actually parties together, mm. uh, all organizations together, to have a f f um, complete punch on this uh, president. President. President Gotabe. Gotabe. So the message is, Gota, go home or get out. Rajit Sen Radha, thank you very much for being on Newsline Live. It's now time for the prime time news. Not before I say, God bless you all.